Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right somehow. I ended up getting stuck in the hospital, though. What the hell is your problem? What? You got a problem? You're fine, right? Then there's nothing wrong with it. So just give birth and be done with it. You kicked a pregnant woman's stomach, okay? What are you going to do if something happens to my baby? It's pointless to think about the future. We should do what we do now. That's it. Sounds like something some dumb teenager would say. So is it your duty to kick pregnant women? No, my duty was to sit down. What? You were taking up so much space that I couldn't sit. I was exhausted today, so I had to sit down. Taking up space? I was just sitting normally. Hey, did you forget you're fat? I don't know if it's because you were pregnant or because you're already like that, but I didn't even tell you to give me the seat. I couldn't even squeeze in, so I didn't have a choice. So you had no choice but to kick me. Even if I wasn't pregnant, that's assault. What? Seems like you don't know who my father is. Huh? How the hell am I supposed to know? I don't even know your name. I'm Christopher Herman. My dad is Charles Herman. Such a shame that you don't know him. He's a famous investor in the area. He's got connections with the police, too. I don't give a crap. So what? So I'm not afraid of the cops at all. Ordinary low-life people like you seem to rely on them. But they're on my side. You're embarrassing yourself, you know that? I'd be more embarrassed to live as an ordinary citizen. I can't imagine what your life is like. I guess you were a group of your idiot's friends, I presume. So I guess you wouldn't be embarrassed. My friends? They work for me. Not for money, though. But they follow everything I tell them to do. Wow, you must be really proud of your dad. You should be ashamed of yourself for being so ignorant. You live in this city, yet you don't even know his name? So embarrassing. Well, it's pointless to expect anything from a woman who lacks common sense. Look who's talking. That Herman guy? He must have failed to educate his son. Are you disrespecting my father? He has the power to make people disappear, you know? Is he gonna murder me? So scary. In order to create the ideal society, sometimes you need to make sacrifices. You really don't know anything. I can't imagine how you've been living. Yeah, no thanks to people like you. But an idiot like you shouldn't be trying to lecture someone about common sense. Hey, how about you watch your mouth? You know who I am now, don't you? So I think you should change your attitude. Why does the victim have to change their attitude? It's not about you being the victim or anything. You and I live in completely different worlds, got it? Our family controls everything in this area. So are you the one who decides who gets punished and who doesn't? Of course. No one can oppose him in this city. So I can easily send you to jail. Is that what you want? You scared now? Yes, very scared. I'm so scared to know the fact that an idiot like you actually exists. You, who do you think you are? I don't care what happens to you. You're fine with that, right? You caused everything yourself. Can you stop snapping at me like that? What? I kicked you because you were taking up all the seats. I'm about to get a job and I'll apologize, so just let it go. You little brat. I'm gonna get you back. What? You sure are cringe. Why would I even know your family's name? You guys are nobody. What? Nobody? Why are you getting so cocky? You're the one who's just some woman. You're the one who's getting cocky. I don't want to make this a big thing, but you won't shut your mouth. I'm going to be using my dad's name too. What? 
Who cares about your dad's name? His name is Alfred Walton. You should know his name, right? What? I said Walton. I'm sure everyone in the city knows his name. You mean that Walton? The famous investor? Yes. What are you going to do? You kicked his daughter as well as his granddaughter. But you're lying, right? There's rumors saying he doesn't even exist in the first place. Come up with a better lie. Your job offer has just been canceled. What? You got a job offer from GNB Technology, right? What? How did you know that? It only took me a second to find out. I just canceled your job offer. Sorry for you. What the hell? How can you do that? Because of my father, duh. He's an investor in GNB in the first place. He can't let someone like you join the company. So he's real? Of course he's real. What kind of question is that? I'm going to put an end to your puny life by all means. Hold on. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were his daughter. I'm so sorry. So what? If I wasn't, would you still kick a pregnant woman just because you couldn't sit on the train? N no, I, I didn't mean it like that. You're such an idiot. Show some respect. I I'm sorry. It's true that I did something terrible to you. I'm so sorry. Could you please forgive me? You think I'm dumb or something? You're at your house now, right? Let's do a prank. Huh? Hey! The security alarm got activated! What's going on? I'm just playing a game. Don't play with my house! Did you come to my house already? Not personally, obviously. What the hell? You're invincible. You got nowhere to escape. Do you understand your position now? I already have. I'm begging you. If my dad finds out about this... I did some research about you, but your dad is also pathetic like you. Cover-ups, bribery... Seems like he's got nothing good going for him either. No one's ever trusted you in the first place, right? Huh? No, that's not true. Because the guys you were with? Did you realize they were filming the whole thing? What? Is that true? Yep. Aren't you going to be in trouble if the clip gets out? I'll be done for. But I already got their contacts. They're going to upload it as soon as I tell them to. Seriously, what are you? I'm begging you, so please, don't. If that happens, I can never recover. That's not enough. I'm not sure you deserve a second chance. Hold on, I'll do anything. So please, don't let them unload the clip. I'll allow you to do whatever you want to them instead. You really are a piece of trash. Actually, they've already just uploaded it. Too bad for you. No way! Damn, they betrayed me! You just did the same to them too. Now I know both you and your dad are trash. Now I can do what I want. What are you gonna do? I'm going to your place, firstly. What? No, please, hold on! Look, if you can't forgive us, why don't you call 911? Huh? You said they're under your dad's control, right? I don't want to call them if they don't judge equally. No, I just exaggerated it. Anyway, you blackmailed me to not call the police. We need to talk in person, right? So I'm coming for you. I understand. By the way, don't even try to escape, okay? I said I was coming, but I'm already at your house. Well, I'm actually in the hospital, so I just sent some guys instead. What? Why would you do that? Why would I do what? You're the one who kicked me. 
I'm so sorry about that. I was just getting cocky, being with my guys. Is your dad home now? Can you both go outside? What? With him? Of course. You want to apologize, don't you? Then, why can't you do it with your father as well? Sorry. I'm seriously feeling remorseful. Could you please forgive me? Can you hurry up? What's taking you so long? Okay, alright. I'll go outside right away. Two hours later. Excuse me? What is this? Huh? What? Um, I got blindfolded and kicked out of the car in the middle of nowhere. And one of the guys kicked me in the stomach. Huh? Is that all they did to you? I'm disappointed. Anyway, can you come to the hospital to apologize? I'd like to do that, but... I, I don't know where I am. I have no idea what I should do. I I'll never do anything like that anymore. So, could you please tell them to come back? Definitely not. You got a phone with you, so you should be fine. You can get back easily with it. Hurry up and come here. But I got no money with me. M my stomach hurts, too. So does mine. Right. I'm sorry. But at this rate, I might die. So what? Do you think I'd feel sorry for you? I thought they might even throw you in the ocean, but... What? Well, that's a crime, so we can't do that. This is already a crime. Anyway, just hurry up and come here to apologize. If I don't see you in front of me in four hours, I don't really care what happens to you. Uh, how can we get there without anything in four hours? I don't care. If it's impossible, then it's fine. I just want you to apologize as soon as possible. Oh. So get on it. Or I'll leak the proof that your dad bought your way into your university. What? No, please! If you don't want that, hurry up. I'm sorry. But if something happens to me and I couldn't get there... What? If something happened... Didn't you say you shouldn't think about the future? After that, he didn't make it in time. Him and his father's secrets got exposed to the public, and they both got arrested. I don't know what they're going to do with their lives now, but that's none of my business. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so we know to do better for next time. If you enjoyed yourself, consider subscribing. And if you really enjoyed yourself, maybe consider hitting that bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. Thank you again. See you in the next one.